Hey guys, so welcome back. So this is an update as far as the uh, the Project Sled 2001 Polaris XE800. Uh, spent some time with it today and we uh, fixed a couple things and discovered a couple other things at the same time. So um, I didn't do any filming on this thing at all today because I had a friend of mine over here and we were, he was helping me out uh, with the carbs and a couple other things. But uh went ahead and pulled the carbs out cleaned those out those are actually in pretty good shape not that much junk in the bowls or anything like that cleaned that up um you know took the pipe off and uh, i removed the uh, the covers and the uh, insulators um to check out the pipe and then we put it back on it just to run it to see uh, no issues with the carbs so that's looking pretty good um as we we're going as we were checking some other things, came across this. This is the uh, the wiring for the temp sensor, and essentially it was cut, and then it, there was a butt slice on it, which is now falling off. Um, so that was Mickey Mouse back together. So that needs to be fixed. So came across that today. What else? Uh, what else did we do? We replaced the the split fuel line. Right, so that has been replaced. It's no longer leaking or causing a mess. And uh, so that's looking good. So, so now the big thing. Um, when, when I picked this thing up, I, I noticed something was wrong with it or something was off. I couldn't really put my uh, finger on it. But if you look at the tunnel, right, what you're going to see is you're going to see a tunnel holes. And also, there's grinding on it as well, which is kind of odd. It's something you don't normally see on a tunnel. And um, and what's weird about it, the there's holes on both sides. So we'll just bring come over here real quick. And um, again, there's holes and grinding marks as well. And then if you look, um, if you have an edge sled, you you'll look. There's these couple brackets that, that have been grafted on and it's actually above the decals. So um, we were looking at, at that today and said, you know what, this is kind of odd. So then we started looking at it before we pulled the seat off and everything else and we started looking at it really close. And if you look up here, you're gonna see evidence of weld marks right here and up here, right? So basically the tunnel was welded right here. On both sides and there's some weld over here right down there and if we go on the other side it's not as bad but there's a weld mark right here and there's a weld mark right here so it was welded and then it was ground down and what all these holes are from they're from a dent puller and they're um, evidently they were whoever had this before them um, they were pulling all the dents out in the tunnel. So that's when we said, you know what, let's pull off the seat. There's something going on. And again, here's the other bracket that was grafted on to the, uh, to the sled. Because if you look on the, uh, the edge chassis on, uh, like Davitt's, you can see where the tunnel ends here. And then there's the rear side covers that are cover up all this. These should not be on here. So then we pulled the seat off and we go, you know what, something's going on. Why don't we take a look at it? And this is what we found in the back. So if you look, it's cracked on both sides, right? And this panel, which, which holds the snow flap on, it's supposed to be at a 35 degree angle, which it is now, but before it, before it was at, at, an, at a 90. And this was tucked in on both ends. So evidently, this sled took a pretty good shot in the rear end and uh, tweaked the tunnel. So, um, so what we're gonna do, because right now, for the most part, the tunnel does look straight. I think they did an okay job of repairing it. <clears throat> but what we're gonna do is, uh, I sourced out a guy on Craigslist who's uh, parting out several edges and on the on the edge uh, chassis this rear section is completely removable so what we're going to do is 
We're essentially, if you, and if you look, it's being held on by bolts and everything else. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna more than likely take this section out and go to the donor sled and basically get the new one and then we'll rivet it in and make everything nice and neat and, and good and everything else. So I just gotta talk to the owner of this sled and make sure that's what he wants to do. The parts only, uh, is only gonna be 35 bucks versus uh, taking take welding everything and trying to uh, make the ugliness look better again but I think in the end it's probably just gonna be better off to just to uh, grab that section and graft it in so um, so yeah that's what we came across today it's kind of one of those things we weren't, we weren't looking for but it kind of explains what's going on on, on the side of the tunnel uh, so but essentially that's the update. I figure I just let uh, pass it along to you guys and go from there. The other thing we found, you know, the, the, the gas tank isn't even bolted to the tunnel. It's just resting on the fasteners. So there's a lot of little annoying stuff that we're finding as we're going through it. None of them are really deal, deal breakers because again, you guys got to re remember what this like costs uh, as far as uh, as far as the purchase, 500 bucks. Um, so he's probably going to have to put a couple hundred bucks in it. He's not going to lose any money on it. Um, if he goes to sell it, he's probably just going to get back what he put into it because of the tunnel issue. But we're going to try to make it nice and neat and presentable as best as we can and uh, go from there. Because a lot of these holes up along the top, you didn't even see because the uh, the uh, the seat coming down. We didn't even see all those until uh, we took the seat off. So it's one of those things. But, so there's the update. All right, now, it, it runs great now that the carbs are up, are nice and clean, and uh, looking good. So there will be more updates on this project sled throughout the week as we're making progress, and we'll go from there. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you like the, uh, the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you part of my community. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. See ya, bye.